my husband when he knew that the side effects of chemotherapy can make someone bald he came the next day with bald hair to support me in my journey So after I gave birth to my second born, I noticed there was a slight swell on my face. So I felt that I should get it checked out. And then they told me that I had to go for a biopsy because there was a, a large mass on my chest. So after the biopsy, uh, they diagnosed me as stage 4 lymphoma cancer. So the first thing I thought was about my baby girl. Like, I had to stop breastfeeding. This was one of the criteria. And it was impactful because I know I will be absent as a mom for my second born. So right after that, two days later, I started my chemotherapy journey. And along the way, I also experienced um, pneumothorax, which is the right uh, length of the right lungs. So when I experienced that, I had to stay in the hospital for at least uh, nearly two months. So my mom and my mother-in-law came in to give that um, unconditional support. I feel really blessed that my family support was there. They told me like, don't give up. They will always put a smile on their face. So what I've learned um, in this motherhood journey is that we just have the capacity to go through any ordeals or challenges. Despite things just dropping on us, we are just so strong, especially for our kids.